Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is an update on a huge Dropbox password leak. Organizations and researchers that monitored the underground have found criminal actors trading files that contain a huge amount of Dropbox email addresses and password hashes. In fact, they found five gigabytes of data, which total about 68 million Dropbox accounts. While that's not Dropbox's entire user base, it's about a quarter of the users they have. Now there's some good news here. This is all based on an old data breach. If you've been watching my videos for years, including the previous WatchGuard Security Week in Review back in 2012, you'll have known that Dropbox back Back in 2012, admitted to uh, some sort of breach where attackers were able to get one of their employees' user accounts and made off with an undisclosed amount of user information. Now, at the time, Dropbox didn't report uh, how much user information was taken, uh, but they did recommend users out there go change their passwords, and I also recommended that as well back in 2012. The good news here is the 68 million user records is from 2012. This is old data from an old breach. Now, the other good news here is when bad guys make off with big user and password databases, they don't actually get clear text passwords. They actually get passwords typically stored in some sort of cryptographic fashion, typically a hash. And there are varying levels of hash security. For instance, if you use, say, a SHA-1 hash, that's more secure than an MD5 one. More importantly, if you actually salt your hash or you combine a hash with another piece of random information, it makes it even harder for bad guys to brute force that hash. Furthermore, there's even uh, better hashing algorithms like bcrypt, which are even more difficult for bad guys to actually crack. Now, none of this does prevent bad guys from making off with some of the weaker passwords that your users use. It just means that if your users use relatively strong passwords, it's a lot harder for bad guys to recover them from these hash databases. And I point this all out because Dropbox at the time stored around half of those passwords using bcrypt, a very strong hashing algorithm and the rest was SHA-1 with a salt. So they actually stored passwords relatively securely. Nonetheless, the big interesting and new piece of information here is to learn that that 2012 breach actually involved 68 million user records. That's a huge amount of user records. And since a lot of users out there reused their passwords, that means for the past four years, bad guys may have been using these stolen passwords to log on to many other accounts for these victims other than just drop. Box. So what's the takeaway here? Well, the good news is if you've been watching my video since 2012, I already recommended you change your password way back then. So if you took that advice, you really have nothing to worry about. In fact, if you've changed your password at all in the past four years for a Dropbox, you're probably safe. However, if you're not sure, you should probably change your Dropbox password. And it's a good time to kind of recap the password security best practices. When you replace the password, you need to make sure to use a unique one. You do not want to use the same password everywhere because that means one database breach can result in all your passwords being compromised. So you want to use a different password. You also want to use a strong password and the reason you do this is if for some reason Dropbox does lose their latest password database, even if a bad guy gets that hash, it makes it a lot harder to crack if it's very, very long. And the easiest way to handle different long passwords everywhere is to use something like a password manager. One other point, by the way, is if you do have an old password from 2012, Dropbox will probably email you to tell you this because they're trying to force people to reset their password if they haven't updated since that time. So you probably will be forced to regardless of my advice. Anyways, interesting story, and it is kind of interesting to see how little even the victim companies know about their breaches. Back in 2012, Dropbox really wasn't talking about this breach like it was a big deal, but 68 million user records is quite a significant leak. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.